Welcome to another video and tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be showing on how you can download or upload custom workouts from external sites, uh, whether that be coming from the workouts that I post on Facebook or from other sites uh, from across the web that do custom workouts for Zwift. And how do you upload these files to your Zwift program? What will be required for today's video is, uh, one, is that you'll need to be on a PC for this computer. And the second part is to make sure that you do have enough hard drive space on your computer to load these workouts. For the most part, hard drive space will not be an issue since these workout files are relatively small. But that may be a concern, especially when you've got a lot of Swift or if you've got just simply a lot of files on your computer. And the second part is to make sure that your computer has access into the Zwift folder. And the Zwift folder will be mentioned a little bit later in this video. For the purposes for this video, I'm going to be using a standard PC and I have several custom workout files and the files that I'll, the file that I'll be working from in this video is going to be the active recovery with bursts. And uh, you could do this with any other workout file name, as long as you're able to hyperlink or to have a shortcut to your Zwift folder. With that stated, let's get started. All right, so what I have done here is I have decided to automatically go and join in onto the Watopia world. And for meetups, it's going to be very important to go into any of the worlds without loading any workouts. This is because when you go and join in on the meetup, when you do so, the meetup will automatically remove any workouts that you have loaded. And so what I'm going to do here is within my avatar on the lower left hand side, it starts 15 minutes prior to the meetup time. And so what I'll do is I'm going to click on the join meetup button here to head into the demo that I have set up here early. But again, it's going to be important to make sure that you are not into the, you're not loading a workout prior. Now that you have entered into the event, what you want to do is to load your workout. And just like with any other type of traditional Zwift ride, on the lower left hand side here, and you may need to click on this lower bar, you want to click on the menu button. And from the menu button, you want to then go into your workouts, just like in a regular pause menu. From your pause menu and clicking on that workouts button, you could go and select any one of the custom workouts, or if you so choose, you could also choose any of the other standard workouts that are in Zwift. And again, the custom workouts folder is usually on the very top of the training folder. And this is where you will be able to find custom workouts. And this is the place to where if you have successfully moved your file from Facebook or wherever you downloaded to your Zwift workouts folder, the custom workouts should appear here. And it's important to make sure that when you do move the workouts, you do the workout move or you move those workouts into the corresponding folder prior to starting up Zwift. Locating your Zwift workouts folder takes a little bit of working into your computer. And to do so, 
what you want to have is to have your file explorer open. In this case, I'm going to reset settings here to go into this PC as what is currently shown on my screen. What's going to be important is to make sure that you have access to the documents folder. Typically, this is where Zwift is residing on your computer. So what I will do is go into the documents folder. And as you can see, I have a lot of different files here, but what's important is to make sure that you see the Zwift folder. Go and double click on the Zwift folder and you will see a couple of other folders here and go and click on the workouts tab or the workouts folder. Once you're into this workouts folder, you're going to see several different folders in here and uh, some will be downloaded. There may be a single digit file, but what's going to be important is to find the six digit folder. This is to where you want to place any custom workouts that you download or that you find from the internet. And you want to place those workouts into this folder. Double click on this folder. And what you will see here is there's going to be lots of different workouts as I typically create lots of different types of polarized training. And as you could see, from my previous examples here, I have the active recovery with bursts file. Zwift files are .zwo. What you want to make sure is that you download the files and place those files into this particular folder. And you want to do this prior to starting Zwift. If you do move folders or if you do move your files uh, while you have Zwift open, Zwift will not read the files when you go and try to take a look at your custom workouts. So do keep that in mind. So again, as a reminder, make sure that you do not have Zwift open prior to placing custom workouts into this folder that I had mentioned. In summary, what you want to do is go into your PC or this PC, go and find your documents folder, find your Zwift folder, find the workouts folder, and find this six digit folder number and double click on the six digit folder. From there, you should be able to find lots of different workout files if you make lots of custom files, or this is the place to where you want to save those custom workouts from the internet into this folder. If you like any of this content, feel free to hit the like button. And if you haven't done already, Click on the subscribe button to help this channel out and help this channel grow. And if you really like the content, feel free to click on the ring bell notification to get more updates to when I go and upload content. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. And see you Zwift.